Hey y'all, um, good afternoon. I've been really, really busy today um, working on orders like pretty much all day. Um, I'm not done yet, but um, hopefully soon. I am trying to um, finish up the last one that I have. Well, it ain't the last one I have, but it's the last one I got done today from Amazon and I got three more to go but um I need a break so um I was gonna do a little video to go over a shop I was looking at um a few minutes ago that's a little bit different than any of the other ones we've had. Um so I wanted to just go over that and show her a little bit of what I'm thinking would work to help her. Um, because it is a little a little more of an unusual item that you don't just see every day on Etsy. So, but it is, there, there are other sellers that sell it. So, um, but right now she's kind of not hitting a lot of the market that she could be where these really might sell. Um, so I was going to, hey Donna, I hope you're doing all right today. Um, but I'm thinking that, um, you know, it may help for a little bit to, to see a little bit of a different, uh, way to go about what she's trying to do with her items because, um, what she does is painted rocks and so it, it's, you know, people don't just search for painted rocks all the time, but they do search for them to, to use for different things. So. Sorry, I'm trying to tie a knot. That's kind of a market she doesn't um, hit. And um, so I'm going to look at that and show her a few things that I have found as I research her shop uh, today. Let me put this. In. I've got one thing I'm trying to put in a bag right fast, y'all. Yay. I've done about 25 orders for Amazon today. They have come in in the last two days. I don't know why it's hopping. But I have sold, everything I've sold has been the exact same thing except for three. Everything else is the same identical bracelet for some reason. I don't know if it's featured somewhere on Amazon or what the heck is going on with it. But it has been a hot item for two days. I'm kind of getting tired of doing it, but Money's money. Um, let me type this for Sandra. Sandra's um, asked a question about her URL for her design business. I'm almost done typing. Okay, so the shop I'm looking at is, um, let me pull it up. I just had it one second ago. Hold on. Okay, here it is. And here it is. She has got some beautiful artwork that she's been painting. Um, on rocks. So, here's how, what I'm noticing. So far she has 26 items in her shop and she's had about 36 sales she lives in California and I'm looking on some she has a couple things that are paintings but a, a lot of its rocks so when we're looking at this the uh, wall hangings and the rocks are, are kind of two separate things so that's one thing she's got going on. 
Um, I, I only see just a few, I think there's three paintings that are on wood. Well, these, which are beautiful. And then, um, that is just looks like a little pond. Uh, but there's the owls, these here, that aren't listed under sections two. Um, and I think it's rocks and they're, they're kind of glued on the thing to, um, make a plaque, a wall hanging maybe, maybe. That's what it looks like. Um, so here's what you need to do basically with this is all of the rocks that are just the rocks that aren't fixed to hang or whatever could be used for um, room decor, paperweights, or pet rocks. Um, all of three of those things from what I have found are good searches. Um, So, right now, currently, um, this is how she has this listing done. Monarch butterfly painted on rock with water droplets. Unique butterfly painted stone for gift. Okay, that's not really going to get her found in a search that somebody's searching um, for something like this. Because... They're not really going to search for monarch butterfly painted on on a rock. Um, they probably aren't even going to search for unique butterfly painted stones. Uh, same thing goes for these barn owl painted on flat sea rock. Unique hand painted owl, hand painted owl painted stones to give as gift. This is not wording that is going to get you found in a search. Now, what I found when uh, doing a few searches while ago was this. If I search for pet rocks, I find a lot of uh, 4,540 results, okay? There's 95 pages. Well, you find everything from rocks that are just, you know, like you've used for like little memorials for pets, um, an actual ones that come and are, you know, in a little box for a, a pet rock thing, some that are painted, so you have a lot of variety for these things. Some of them are actually fancier painted, similar to this. Um, I'm going to look a couple more pages ahead. And see, here we have one of these that's, that's a, you know, fancier painted rock. So what she's got could also be got put in under the category for pet rocks um, because people will look under for that and may purchase them under that heading. Um, wow, that looks like a little hedgehog thing. Um, then we also, I found, if I searched for um, rock art, A search um, that has 129,735 results and we have some that's just plain rocks we have rocks that's been pa painted it also has some some just like rock and roll kind of things but we have some that are like this that are just actual fancy painted rocks um, that are selling and so hand painted rock art is another good search phrase to use. Uh, let me go back here. Yeah, it's not wanting to go. Okay, where's it where's it at? So that's another one we can look at because I'm seeing some similar type items like she's selling here that would fall under this category. 
and these also were some you know pictures made with the rocks so those would you know pebble art um, and rock art would go under that also and you could fit every single thing in the shop under that um, search phrase including the the hanging pieces so that's a good one um, I'm gonna search here for paperweight art Oops, I, I didn't type it in right So I searched paperweight art. There's 11,973 results. And it has a lot of different kind of rocks. It's everything from an acrylic um, made gla you know, glass paperweight. Um, the actual rocks that are painted for paperweights. It has a lot of different things in here. But a lot of different kind that are, are used for paperweights. So it would also fit under here. To be used um, under paperweight art. Um, I'm looking for. So they would come, you know, they would fit under here too. I'm going to put uh, one more thing. Can't remember which I've searched already. Okay, so then I just put another search, this paperweight rock art. Um, that's more all rocks that are painted. So that's only that's a smaller search, but it would be a good one to be found in for people that when they specify. If you use paperweight rock art, you will be found under paperweight art, paperweights, and um, you'll hit about three, three of the bigger searches with that one phrase. Um, I'm going to look for pebble art also. And here you see um, 20,200 results. So it's a, it's a little smaller search, but it's all in the same, same type of stuff. So we've got several good things we could use here, but there's several things that she hasn't even thought about using in her titles. Um, that would really be helpful to get her seen a little bit better. I'm gonna um, hang on and I'll see what you hang on. Okay, I see you're watching. Good. Um, so I'm going to go to Etsy Rank and I'm going to. This is my Amazon disaster for today. I need to check that for one more second. Make sure I got everything printed. I do. Um, I'm going to go to Etsy Rank and pull up here. 
and I'm going to look at the uh, keyword compare tool and I'm going to pull up some of these. Here's the thing. Your listing grade didn't mean diddly. It doesn't mean anything. Um, whether you had a C or a D, if you were using good wording, it didn't matter if you had a C or a D if the wording you used was getting found. That's kind of why he's doing away with the, with the grades, with the letter grades, because people didn't understand that the letter grade is grading on did you have it set up correctly because you didn't have it set up in a sentence form, but you were using better wording. Whenever the grades changed for, um, well, not really the grades, but whenever Etsy changed their search algorithm or their recommendation and they wanted everybody to have more of a sentence that read good for the customer, um, Etsy rank and Marmalade changed to be set up because they're grading the format that you put it in. They're not grading the words. They're grading the format. So that grade was if you had it in the correct format. And if you were using these words with the comma and a space and you had like multiple words, it wasn't in the correct format. But you could still use all of those words in three phrases and get them into free sentence, three sentence type phrases and still fill the title up um, and use all of the space and be seen in the good searches that you had. Um, that's what a lot of people have done is they went to change that to fit that letter grade uh, because their grades suddenly were bad again. And when they did, they lost all of their good keywords and they suddenly were not found in the good searches they had been before. And that's where people messed up. And uh, what Anthony's trying to do now is do away with that basically the letter grade so that you focus on setting it up in a better format using good keywords because Etsy rank doesn't grade the wording you use it helps you find good wording but it doesn't grade on whether or not you put the best wording in um, your titles or not it doesn't really read the wording it reads the format of the wording but not the actual words maybe um, so it doesn't grade you on the words that you're actually using. I'm going to do a compare of all four of these. The rock art, paperweight art, pet rock, and pebble art. And then I'm going to give you an example of a title I would use for um, one of your, a couple of your items using the keywords. Because the ones that hang on the wall could also be um, wall art, which is another good phrase to use. It's taken forever. Okay, so here we have rock art, paper art, pet rock, and pebble art. Okay, rock art has. Um, a higher search, it has higher competition, it also has high engagement. Paperweight art is unknown. Competition is a little bit less, engagement is low. But what I did find, paperweight itself has um, more searches in there, so I'm going to check paperweight too. Because if you use paperweight art, you'll be found in both searches, so that would be good. Uh, pet rock, fewer searches, medium engagement, but still not bad to be in there. Pebble art, high searches, medium competition, high engagement. So pebble art is really good to use. Um, I'm going to go look at paperweight art. No, I'm going to look at, which one was it? Uh, paperweight by itself. And I'm going to look at I'm 
I'm going to do one more search here. Okay, so Pebble Room Decor's look. Um, paperweight is a lower search but it's medium engagement so that's not bad it says Etsy competition is medium but it has a lot of Google search and um, the average views up for it are 286 so it's not a bad one to use for paperweight so if you use paperweight art that gets you in two searches and when you combine the searches from both you have about 350 views a month between the two of those um let me see what i would get if we do take this off wait art um I'm going to pull up all four of these and we'll see how many potential searches we would get from all four of these. I think I have spelt this one wrong and I better fix that problem right now. It's working. Okay. So when I look at these four, if, and I know paperweight art shows lower, but paperweight's included in there, and that has like a, a 250 page search. So if you use paperweight art, that would potentially get you um, 300 views a month. Pebble art. Um, 1,272 views a month, Rock Art 430, and Pet Rock is showing 21, but Google search is higher, so it's kind of iffy. Um, and if you put in there Room Decor, that's really high because that's, um, It's, it's way on up there. I forget how much it is. But the ones that you have fixed to hang on the wall would really fall under room decor. All of it really would. Um, so you could use um, use that too, and it would get you in way more searches. But, you know, and I don't know what your searches were like before, before you changed it. Okay, so it's hard for me to say because I, I have no clue. But um, what I would do would be say I'm gonna look at this owl one because people like owl stuff okay so I would put maybe um, my daughter's calling um I would put something maybe like um great uh, Mm, gray owl painted rock art comma pet rock paperweight or fridge magnet comma painted rock room decor because you can use you know 
fridge magnet i'm thinking is is probably a high um search too so if you can fix it for that you know you can do it that way you could even do these for you know set up a listing title just for paperweights and then do the same thing that's one for the fridge magnets for every one of them however you can do them um the more items you have in your search uh, in your shop that show up, the better you're going to show in those searches. Um, here's, you know, the same thing, painted rock, rock um, pet portraits. Pet portraits are good, um, uh, a high search. So you could, you could market some of them for that way, you know, this way. You've got it in here. Uh, coupon moraine and a painted rock pet portrait on stone. You, yeah, you're going to use the same thing. Um, pet portrait rock art. There's two searches there. Um, uh, Pomeranian uh, paperweight art or my brain's not functioning good right now. I'm sorry. I'm tired. But you, I think you kind of get what I'm saying. You you use this and use your three phrases like you've got now, but just make sure you're using that good those good keywords. And you've got in here you've got the uh, pet rock art, um, pet pet portrait on stone. I think I would just word it just a tiny bit different, but I would throw in you know the the rock art and the uh, unique pet rock uh paperweight art would would throw in you know just putting that paperweight art in there would throw it into another search it, anyhow you can word it so it's in three phrases to get you in as many searches as you can right now with this one you're in uh painted rock search pet portrait search um stone art and rock art um and it probably would get you into pet rock search but so you're in about three four searches there but if you add that paper you know uh paperweight pet rock art um that would pull you in another search that would get you in like four so you might can you know potentially with some of the other keywords that you used to use thrown in here to make it into a sentence can get yourself seen in about eight searches instead of three and that will increase your views and even if you just you say this one just like it is because it's pretty good you might want to add a word or two you can always do copy this listing and give it a whole different title so it would double your listings in your shop but give it a whole different title that falls under you know paperweight art um pet portrait paperweight art uh something like that that would um get you under more searches and it would increase your items in your shop but I think that kind of what you did was when you switched it, you did away with some good keywords you should have kept. And it's hard when you don't know and you don't, you're, you're just trying to focus on that grade and you, you don't realize you're doing away with good keywords. Um, the koi fish um, painted for fairy garden room decor. I don't know if that's the greatest thing. Um, hand painted koi fish decor. Koi fish art I'm, is good. I honestly would maybe duplicate this one and um, maybe um, do a complete different title for it that's geared more a little bit to the rock art, paper rock, uh, weight art. Um, living room decor in a whole different title like and you know just make a new whole new listing and keep both up and then see which one does um does the best and if one sells then you can delete both or if it's something you can remake or do a similar one you put it in your um in your description down here that each one is custom made to order no two are exactly alike 
you know, if you can duplicate it and make it similar, then you do it that way. So the listing can renew and grow um, that way and help your shop that way with relevance. Um, and you just have the, the wording so that it people understand that no two are exactly alike. You're not getting exactly that same one, but you're getting a very similar item. Um, that's that's another way to look at it. When you're doing using the rocks itself, it's kind of hard. You may not find a rock that's exactly that same shape. But that's my suggestion with that is to go back and just kind of look at it and check the ones that maybe you lost some of the good keywords. You know, green parakeet, blue parakeet, painted rocks, unique gift for bird lovers. Most people are not going to search green parakeet, blue parakeet. Um, they might search painted uh, painted rock art, um, paperweight um, bird art, or, or something. You know, put put in there something with bird art, and instead of parakeet, just put it in general bird art, um, and switch this title up a little bit that way. So that you can get a few more good keywords in there. Uh, because I don't think the parakeet thing is getting you really anywhere. Um, monarch butterfly art, maybe. But they're not going to really search monarch butterfly painted on a rock with water droplets. So you're using a couple things in here that are just taking up space that you can reword this and put some of those good keywords back in. Excuse me, um, same thing with the fish, you know, fish art or uh, beach decor. These would be good for that. You could throw that in there. Um, the unique colorful painted stones for gifts probably isn't helping you. So I think maybe you've gotten the idea of what I'm saying now, how you can kind of reword these and help that out a little bit better there. Um, you know, anything like that, any of the ones that, that you think would be good for a beach house, throw them in a beach decor uh, thing. You've got a couple of the ones for bird art, um, you know, throw them in under bird art or um, kind of a thing. Uh, put your whole section for that with bird art. Um, but anything like that that you can kind of, if you can duplicate, like these. Um, instead of having there's only one in start stock, if it's something like this that you can duplicate it, then you put that there's more than one, but you put that each one is a one of a kind piece, um, and custom made because somebody, um, you've got that it won't be, let's see. Guess that's for watermarks, but I mean, have it so that they understand this. They're not going to get the exact same one, but but always list if it's something you can duplicate that you have more than one of it. Go ahead and list it that you have five or ten, because many many times I have people go and they publish uh, when they go and purchase, they purchase three or four of a certain of a, the same item. They want to get one for each grandchild or or one for each child. I mean, today on Amazon, I've been selling like crazy all day for this one particular bracelet. And people have been buying two to four of them at the time. So if I had it listed I only had a one, I'd be in a mess. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have hardly sold nothing all day had I not been where I could renew it automatically. Um or you know manually renew it but I would have lost sales because they couldn't get more than one so if it's anything like that I mean this would be good for a yeah you know, it's a good Christmas ornament so somebody might want to buy two or three of them so you want to have it you know anything like that if they can buy more than one or is something you know you can replicate um, you put that you have more than one in there because they may want to buy two, and they're going to understand they won't both be exactly alike. Um, and in this one, you've got varnished for protection. You don't need to put that in the title. 
that goes, you know, down here in the description that it's varnished for protection. So don't don't put that in the title. It's wasting wording space that you can put a good keyword in. That's the thing with these, you know, and I, and I, I hate that whenever he changed the the listing grades, people didn't really understand. And he did a video on it to explain it, but people still didn't really understand it. Um, that the whole thing that that was grading was the format and that you had too many commas and really all you had to do was reword it, take what you had, reword it a little bit, make it in a sentence, but try to keep as much of your good keywords you have. I'm going to do another video um, with, I mean, a lot of my titles, I'm going to be honest, I, I have to, to redo, but I'm trying to, to get around to redoing them but I'm not going to take out any keywords unless it's a duplicate I'm going to keep um, they are beautiful I'm going to keep every good keyword that I can um, in mine and just rearrange it into sentence form that's all I'm going to do and I'm, I'm going to not take out anything out of there unless it is a duplicate I need to um, sign off and call my daughter back, and I also have a customer I need to message back. Um, but hopefully that kind of helps you and, and maybe helps everybody kind of get an idea with these titles about, you know, where everybody's changing their grade. You can't try to get them back up to an A. Forget that grade thing. He's got, they're doing away with it. But what you got to do is just, just basically take all the good keywords that you can and try to put them into about three phrases, three good search phrases that read like a sentence. And if you can't fit them all in three good search phrases, duplicate the listing and put the rest on a new listing um, that way. But if you can fit them in three three phrases, and, and it doesn't matter if they're longer, you got the whole 140 character space to use. Um, but if you know, fit them in there so they make a decent sounding little phrase. Um, so, when I, and make sure the first one looks good under the photo because you want uh, what is under the photo to be your best phrase that is the more described in description. Because she's got Eagle Owl painted rock, uh, painted rocks. You know, put Eagle Eagle Owl painted rock art, so that as the first phrase, and that way under your thumbnail picture it shows that, so they know right away it's actually a painted rock. Because looking at it, most people might not even realize it's a painted rock because it looks so good. It's such a good uh, thing. So you want to make sure that shows up under the thumbnail. But just get those three phrases and use as many good keywords as you can in the three phrases and you know a comma and a space and you're going to be in the right format and just make sure you kind of duplicate those what you use the the keywords you use in the title into the tags and and in uh your descriptions and you will have an a basically even though you know those grades are going to go away if you do it in the right format you're going to have that a that a c s e o um set up and you'll you'll be optimizing your listing that way um so i'm going to get off so i can answer this customer and call my call my daughter back and um ho hopefully that's going to help y'all out i will uh try to copy this and i'll post this on youtube um so everybody can find it easier and i will put your um shop name under it so you can find it on youtube and just put shop review and put your shop name on there for you so that way if you're looking for it again it'll be easy for it to find there because sometimes on facebook they kind of get lost because they don't let us label it right so i'll, I'll try to load it up on my youtube channel so you can find it easier y'all have a good afternoon